Garrett is one of the most interesting characters in the Five Nights at Freddy's movie because he literally does not exist, and I think I might know why. To start, we need to look back at this scene with the lawyer where fine print shows a government website for the state of Minnesota. Now back to Garrett. Mike and Garrett had their camping vacation in Nebraska. Why would Afton go out of his way to be in Nebraska at this random spot in the woods? The answer is not what you might think. And all the other murders that can be inferred that in this universe they were just random kids with no relevance to his agenda. The answer has been the Silver Eyes book staring right at us. Charlie, Henry Emily's daughter, is stuffed into a suit before any other kids were involved. Garrett's death, as Mike being in his 20s, would have had to take place in the 80s. In the books, Charlie eventually becomes the puppet and brings life to the other animatronics and at the end of the movie we hear a robotic voice spell out come find me in the exact same voice as the puppet in the FNAF 2 save the minigame. Garrett being in the puppet is a perfect reason for Apton to recognize Mike in his office just from his last name because Mike looks so much like Henry who has gone so off grid that he has to settle for Mike. How do you think Apton is going to torment Mike in the sequel? Like for part 3.